Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. Sometimes I cook, sometimes I talk, okay? So I have two really good stories that I want to tell you. I had totally forgotten these stories too. First story happened right here in my neighborhood. My neighbor calls me in a frantic, she was all frantic. <gasps> Rosie, Rosie, do you like lizards? That's exactly what she said. And I go, um, they're not my favorite. Uh, what? <laughs> she goes, she goes, I have a lizard in my house. She goes, I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out, you know? And then she goes, and, and I said, well, okay, um, I'll go over to your house and I'll, and I'll see what I can do to help you. And then I went, okay. Um, I grabbed some tongs, long tongs, and I grabbed a big bowl. I have no idea what I was thinking. I, I guess I was in my mind thinking that I would grab it and put it in the bowl or I don't know, but those were my weapons of choice. <laughs> okay. So I go across the street and she goes, it's in the bedroom. And so I go into the bedroom. Her daughter is on the bed. She's hugging a pillow and she's like, <gasps> and I go, and I go, she goes, it's, it's right there. It's connected to the bottom of the curtain. And it was, it was hanging on the curtain and it was totally still totally still and I go and she goes it hasn't moved in 45 minutes and I go that's how long you've been like that <laughs> and she said she goes yeah she goes I don't want to move and then and it'll follow me or something and everybody everybody was freaking out right so I go and she goes do you think it's still alive I go well unless you guys did something I mean I think it's just plain dead is what it is because it knows you're here and then I go you know, when I, when I see a, a big spider in my, um, like if I see a spider in, on my wall or whatever, I'll get, I'll get a can of hairspray. I'll go like a can of hairspray. <laughs> and then the spider can't move and I'm able to whack it with something, right? You know, that's what I do. And so I said, do you guys have hairspray or something? And then her other daughter said, oh, pepper spray. I have pepper spray. And I said, okay, pepper spray. Yeah. Go get, go get the pepper spray. So, so she, so, so she goes and she gets the pepper spray and I'm like, you know, if I spray your curtain, it's probably going to make a mess. It's probably going to ruin your curtain. It's going to stain them. And they go, I don't care. I just want that thing out of my house. So I said, okay. And so I went, Zzz. and it fell to the ground and it was just all, all disoriented, right? Pepper spray. And uh, then I got, I got her trash can and I flipped it over and I put it on top of it. And then they go, oh, that's so great. Okay. Um, now, uh, I, I said, well, why don't you go get uh, some, some paper napkins, some napkins. And, uh, and then they go, you're going to, you're going to get it. I go, I go, I'm going to, I'm going to get it and I'll, I'll take it outside. And then they said, uh, are you going to hold it? You're going to, you're going to, I go with the napkins. And I'm thinking in my mind, if I'm able to do this, I will be very cool in their, in their eyes. <laughs> I'm going to be really cool because they're freaking out. I was scared, but they were freaking out. So I got the napkins and I, and I, I picked up the, the trash can and I grabbed it and I, I, you know, and I go, okay, what do you want me to do with it? And they go outside, outside. <laughs> So I ended up carrying it outside to, um, to my neighbor's yard across the street and I just put it on his lawn. And, uh, and so, you know, it, it eventually went away. I don't know. It just, it went away. I don't know if a bird got it or what, but, but it was gone. So I was the hero that day. So I was the hero. So later on, my son, who is in the U S air force at the time, he's, he's out now. But he called me up and he told me a very interesting story that he had just done. So he says, okay, so he's stationed in uh, Germany. And his, for the day, he was to just escort these German uh, gardeners. And so basically he's just sitting there and he just watches to make sure that they don't wander off to another area. So all of a sudden, these German gardeners, these are big guys, and they're walking, and then all of a sudden they go, they stop, and then they're going, you know, and they're, and then all of a sudden, one of the other airmen, he comes up to my son, and he says, hey, 
He goes, I think we're going to have to call Animal Rag or something. Um, who do we call? There's a, there's a snake right there, and they don't want to continue working because the snake is there. And so my son, my son looks at him and says, oh, okay. He goes, a snake, huh? Let me, let, me go, let me go see what, let me go see. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my, my son. When he was younger, the crocodile hunter, all these nature shows, he was obsessed. So he knows a little bit about, he knows a lot about animals. So he goes over there and he looks down and he looks at the snake. Now, the, all the gardeners and the other airmen are back here and they're kind of watching him as he's walking. And my son goes over there and he, he has sunglasses on. And so he takes off his sunglasses and he puts the sunglasses on on the neck and then and then he he's grabs it by the neck and then he walks and he flings it over the gate and then he comes walking back and all the guys are like did, did you work with snakes or something back in the States? <laughs> and he just goes, no. He goes, I just knew that it wasn't venomous. And they all just were amazed that he would be able to do that. Well, for the rest of the day, hey, look, there's the snake handler. There's the, the snake wrangler and all. Oh, he was the talk of the whole base. <laughs> so when my son called me and told me his story, I go, well, let me tell you what I did with the lizard. And I go, so we have in this family, we have the lizard wizard and the snake wrangler. <laughs> so anyway, those are two stories that happened to us. My son and I were tough. <laughs> anyway, okay. Those are my two stories for today. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening. See you next time.